everyone, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are starting off in Costco. Oh, that's cute. He doesn't play with toys anymore though. We made the mistake of coming on a Saturday and it is busy AF right now. But we came for one or two things. I'm gonna show you that we have more than one or two things. This is currently what we have. We came for cheese and a pie. It's way more than cheese and a pie. I got this new dog food to try. It's human grade, but the funny thing is, is it says feeds up to an 80 pound dog per week. And Chase weighs 110 pounds, but we also supplement with dry dog food. So this isn't his only meal. We got our Diet Cokes and look what they had. They had the peach combo pack, which I was super excited about, even though I just bought a few from Target. Shower head, it says it has a mister on it. So we'll see. If it doesn't have a mister on it, I'm going to be angry. I mean, not really, but our shower head is kind of falling apart. So either way, it's going to work. These were on sample. So we're going to use these as our bread for tonight's Thanksgiving. Treats for the boy. Husband has decided he's going to try these as an undershirt. See how they do because he gets warm. And it says that these are supposed to not be warm, I guess is what I'm trying to say. These are really good sports bras. I bought a pack of these a while back. They had them in store again, so I bought another pack in a different color. And the girl has been asking for asparagus, so I'm gonna make that for dinner tonight. Here is our baked brie. We always buy one of these for Thanksgiving or for Thanksgiving because my mother-in-law used to make hers from scratch and I'm not trying to do that. So I just buy this one because by the time you buy all the pieces, you might as well just buy it pre-made. And even though I said I was going to get a pumpkin pie, I ended up getting this Christmas chocolate tuxedo cake because we already have a pie. I thought cake and pie might be a good combination. And my mother-in-law is obsessed with chocolate. So I think she'll like this. And then I'm stocking up on my Fairlife protein. And then I saw these. These are a Recover Core Power Fairlife. And so they have electrolytes and they help rebuild muscle. So hopefully they taste just as good, which I'm sure they do. They have a little bit less protein than these. These are 30, these are 26, but these will be nice for after my workouts. This is what $380 gets you, especially when you just go to buy cheese and a pie. Y'all, I do not need a new car. My car is only five years old and it's still in really good condition. But how pretty this is this Chevy Blazer? But it's like $50,000, which is crazy to me, but this is a beautiful, beautiful car. Makes me want a new one, but not for 50 grand. And to clarify, before you pull out into whatever lane you want to pull out into, I have already pre-requested racetrack. FYI. And the request was denied. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like his leg lamp shirt? How cute is that? We got that at Bucky's. When was it last year, year before or something? Bucky's has really good Christmas shirts. We are back home, just got all the Costco groceries in, and now it is time to start seasoning and preparing the turkey to head into the smoker. This is the compound butter that I made last night. There's two sticks of butter and then half of this container of Weber honey garlic rub. And then I added a little bit of Kinder's The Blend, which has salt, pepper, and garlic in it. Even though I used salted butter to make this compound butter, it's not really salty enough to help flavor the meat. This is pretty rock hard frozen. I did put it in the microwave for like a few seconds just to kind of soften it up a little bit because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into discs and then we are going to shove it up underneath the skin of the turkey so that it is laying on the meat and it will season and flavor the meat while it's smoking. Here are the discs that I cut with the butter. So all I'm gonna do is take, is it turkey? I almost said chicken. Kind of get up underneath there. And there's like that little thin layer though, that's like between the skin and the meat that you kind of got to break through. See right there? So you can get the butter in that. But then you also got to be careful because you want to break the skin. But I actually remember to wear gloves this time. Usually I forget and then I got to spend forever trying to scrub butter off my hands. Oh, we just, I think I just... You just want to get all, get all up in there. Okay. 
make sure you're kind of breaking that membrane or whatever it's called. I had to come get all up close and personal with this turkey. And then you just take the disc and shove it in there. Get it all. And you're going to do this with the legs too and the thighs as well. And then as that melts, it's just going to make everything delicious. You can actually get some seasoning on the meat inside. And then because we're also using, I'm going to try Alex Warner Shelley's method, we're also going to cover the breasts with cheesecloth dipped in butter. Get in here with the legs and the thighs as well. As you can see, we do put stuffing in our bird. Yes, we have legit stuffing in the dressing business. <laughs> I know there's people who are naysayers about putting stuffing inside the bird. But as long as you're bringing everything up to the proper temperature, you're good. And we always check the temperature of the stuffing, too, to make sure. And we've never had anybody, us, anybody that's eaten our Thanksgiving food get sick. And then whatever you have left over, once you have everything shoved in, just kind of put the rest where you can. I think this needs a little bit more over here. I might be able to put a toothpick to hold the skin kind of close yeah. in and yeah, overlap two okay. pieces. I see what you're saying. Stick a pen in it. <laughs> Give me another one. Yeah. This will be fine. Cheesecloth. This is the one that I hauled from Publix. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. What's the brand? Ritz since 1892 is the brand. And it is gourmet cheesecloth. It's just olive oil on a spray can. Yeah, I'm gonna use. Once again, Weber's honey garlic. Just gonna Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Now we just soak it all up. Sop it all up. Sop it up. I'm just gonna get like a little a slider bun and. <laughs> Sop up those flavors. According to her instructions online, you only leave this cheesecloth on there for about two hours and then you can take it off. But this is supposed to keep the skin moist, keep it from burning. It has butter, so you can't go, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, look, I did two sticks and it soaked it all right up. Okay, there we go. Before you do that, what? I'll put the probe uh, Well, and actually, maybe I should put the probe through it because this needs, this outside part needs to be on ambient temperature. Okay. This is my meter probe. There we go. And I just have to stab through the. You think I should put it over the legs too? I don't know. What did the video say? Just the breast. Okay. Then just the breast. This is pretty much how we, minus the cheesecloth, but this is how we've been making our turkey for years, and everybody seems to love it, so I guess we're doing something right. And of course, the day that we are doing this, it is raining. We also keep it in the roasting pan so that we can get all of the juices and all the flavors and stuff for the gravy later. Still smokes just fine. Yeah, you still get plenty of smoke flavor. That's it. See you in a few hours, bird. Unfortunately, the girl is in Saturday school today because she doesn't know how to turn her work in. And so the school offers an opportunity on Saturdays to go in and finish up any missing schoolwork that you have and to work on projects to bring your grade up. So that's what she's doing right now. Husband went to go pick her up. In the meantime, I'm going to make my baked brie that I picked up just now at Costco. My husband's stepmom passed away in 2020. Not from the panty, but from something else. And we miss her a lot. And there are a lot of traditions that she had incorporated. And one of them was baked brie. As I said at Costco, she used to make it her own from scratch. She would take the brie, the jam, the puff pastry, put it all together and do everything. But 
I do the shortcut, buy the pre-made one, and it's pretty good. It's good, and it's the perfect little size, but she used to make that brie for me every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, because she knew it was my favorite thing that she made. Well, one of the many favorite things that she made, but her baked brie is always near and dear to my heart. We miss her constantly, and we miss her every day, but we keep her little traditions alive that she started, and so I know that she would be thrilled to know that we keep some things going. Hi, I'm here. Who are you? <laughs> here she is. This is my attempt of making it look pretty instead of just leaving it on the parchment paper. <laughs> New shower head is installed. Let's see if it actually mists like it says it does. <gasps> we have missed. We have missed. Red alert, red alert, it works. I now have the misting feature back in my shower and I am a happy camper. Then if you push that trigger up, yeah. not while pointed at the ceiling. <laughs> oh, it's got the clean feature on it. Yeah. So you can scrub. That's nice. Yeah. Here is our turkey we are about to eat. It is about to get carved up. I probably should have put the cheesecloth over the legs, so now we know for next year to go ahead and just cover the whole thing with the cheesecloth, but there, there it is. I'll show you the rest of the food when we get to the table, after it's all carved up. Y'all know. Mm -hmm.